So this is, we're, st we're filming, we're starting. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so I, talking to my camera, we're gonna watch Twilight and you haven't, have you seen any of them? Or like parts of any of them? Yes, I've seen at least one. I don't remember which one. It could okay. be the first one. I remember there being a dance. We talked about this once. There was like a dance and there's also like a scene with a, where Bella's on a motorcycle. I think it was New Moon. Okay, may, mayhaps New Moon. Yeah, but there's a dance at the end of Twilight, but also they keep flashing back to it in New Moon. So it's probably New Moon because there's no motorcycle in Twilight. So probably seen New Moon once, like, nearly four years ago. Uh-huh. And then, like, some clips here and there on the internet. The trailer dubs. Yeah. Or anything, but, and I haven't read any of the books ever. Okay, so you don't even really know what you're getting into, which is good. I would prefer that. I mean, like, kind of, because, like, cool, like, I'm aware of, like, the culture surrounding Twilight a yeah. little bit. I remember in middle school everybody talking about it. So, I mean, yeah. I've gotten, like, plenty of spoilers. Okay, like, true. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. So, like, do you think you're gonna like it, or do you think it's just gonna be, like, something that we we watch and it's bad and we ironically enjoy it. I think it's gonna be more the latter. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like I think I'm gonna like it in the same way that I like High School Musical a lot. Like, yes. It's gonna be really fun to like laugh at. Yeah. I think that's, I don't like it genuinely, although I've met plenty of people that do like it genuinely. Like they think it's like a genuinely good movie. Like they enjoy it, yeah. I don't know how many people I've met that think it's like a genuinely good movie, but like, Enjoy it as a story and not like just enjoying it because it's funny. Yeah, something does not have to be genuinely good to be enjoyed. Yeah. That's very subjective. I want to put that. Definitely. All right, yeah. should we? All right. Should we hop in? Yes. Okay. Uh, we can stop filming. What are your first thoughts? It was kind of slow. Like, there was enough to... I'm like glad that there was enough to kind of like make fun of and laugh at because I think that... Like, basically, up until the baseball game, it was pretty boring. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's just like teen stuff. Yeah. Like, it was still enjoyable. Um, but then the baseball scene happened and that was fantastic and then it was all like the action and drama which like took me, like it drew me a lot more. Yeah, they really pack a lot into the last like 25 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it gets so intense so quickly. Yeah, the pacing in the movies is pretty bad. Like, the whole second movie is like nothing and then the third movie is kind of nothing. And the fourth movie, there's like something, and then the fifth one is like all action. There's five movies? How many books are there? Four books, five movies. Okay. Which, if you ask me, was not necessary. No, but they did it because Harry Potter did it. Yeah. Like, Harry Potter was the first to do that, wasn't it? Right, and I think that was okay. Yeah, I mean, that seemed. That worked. Necessary. Did you see any of the Twilight movies in the theater? No. Mm -hmm. I only watched them later because my dad bought all the DVDs and he was really into them for a while. Rance liked... Rance <laughs> loves teen stuff. Yeah, okay, so what did you think of the meeting? Because I think that's like probably... It's funny to me. Oh, Bella and, and Edward meeting? Yeah. How do they meet again? <laughs> In the science class, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> so funny. That's really, like, honestly funny, because she thinks it's... Because she smells bad. Yeah. Like, she checks her pit. She does. I think that's, like, genuine comedy. Like, it's yeah. in a not... Like, I feel like it's not supposed to be, but it's genuinely comedic. 
comedic. It is. Yeah. I think some of it's supposed to be funny. Like, there's definitely parts of it that, like, attempts at humor were made. Yeah. Is it explained? Like, I guess, is it just because it's sunny days that, like, Edward goes missing for, like, multiple days? Because I feel like they're in class for, like, a couple days together, and then he's, like, absent for several days in a row. Yeah. Funny? I, that, yeah, I believe so. Like, they don't show up on days where that might be in jeopardy. How does he come back, then, and is, like, totally fine? He's had some days to recharge. I love the, like, I guess I'll just endure it. (laughs) Yeah, he really is such a dick to her. Yeah, and I think it's supposed to be, like, worse in the books. Which is, like, how does she, like, how does she endure it, literally? (laughs) Yeah. So you liked the baseball scene? Yes, I loved the baseball scene. It was so... I think I enjoy... Like, I enjoy action. Um, There just has to be, like, a solid balance of it for me. Because I watched watched Terminator 2 last night for the first time. And, like, most of that movie is just, like, fight scenes. And I I was really bored towards the end. Because I was like... They're just... Fighting. Twilight is really, it's like front empty and then end loaded. Mm. Which is weird. It worked for me. It's yeah. satisfying at least. Like, it's like, okay, well, at least it built to something. Mm-hmm. Even if, like, on an entertainment level, it's sort of disjointed. Yeah, like, I think the pacing is probably, like, objectively not that good. I just remembered Spider Monkey. Ugh. Yeah, there's a lot of lines I don't like. The lion and the lamb one is the most egregious, I think. Oh, the... Oh, God. That's, like, a line, too, that I feel like a lot of people really liked at one point in time. And, like, would quote a lot. Like, I remember, like, in fifth grade, like, being on the playground, and, like, people would, like, quote that to each other, and it was, like, ew. I don't remember any Twilight talk in elementary school, but I remember... I remember sixth grade and, like, a yeah. couple classmates being really excited about the... Twilight series and like talking about it and I even at one point like asked somebody to loan me their copy so that I could be like in on it but I don't they never did and so I never read it which I'm fine with yeah I owned all of them at one point I inherited them actually in a will (laughs) (laughs) um yeah who died and gave you their Twilight books my great grandma don't look at the screen it's like just very bright and abrasive. <laughs> Who was the worst of the friends? Probably Mike. Probably yeah, Mike. It's Mike. Who of the colons did you find the most interesting? Aside from Edward. Because Edward's automatically the most. I mean, he's the only one that got like fleshed out in this movie, at least. Yeah. Yeah. The other ones are also surface level. Yeah. I don't know. I guess Alice. Alice and Jasper seemed alright, you know? Yeah. It's a common answer, I think. Yeah. They're they're well liked. Like those are the ones I would like to know more about. Yeah. Well Alice I think has like the coolest power. Cause they all have like a special vampire power. Why though? I don't know. Why is this so inconsistent? What are all the other ones' powers? Because we only know Edward and Alice. Yeah. Is Carlisle's power that he's like a doctor? <laughs> like, is he like, is he good at healing people? Does he he must be, uh, I guess. How does he have. And I don't think, maybe not everybody has a power, but then I feel like Emmett's might be like super strength, but then like they all kind of have super strength. Yeah, they do. And like <laughs> Edward being able to read minds doesn't even make that much sense because like James could read minds. So he's not special. The only one that's like actually special is Alice being able to see the future. That's really inconsistent. Yeah. Names. What is Carlisle's wife's name? Esme. Esme. Yeah, what's her power? Being a mom. (laughs) Okay. That's where Edward gets his girl boss from. Ah. Yeah, she passed it down to him. The original girl boss. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, they all have like weird, crazy death stories too. The only one we got is Edwards, but like you find out how everybody died later. 
Good. I wanna, I'm curious about that. Yeah. Rosalie's is pretty fucked up. The rest are just like, I got scurvy. What else? Uh, did you have any like questions? Like, did anything not make sense? I think so. I mean, other than like, a lot, I guess. I mean, just like what we talked about with the powers stuff. Like yeah. stuff that very obviously doesn't make, like why do they sparkle? Did, how much did the romance work for you? Like, does, does it work for you on any level? I think it did because of what I already know about the series. And like, I already know, like, obviously Bella and Edward become an item, like, right away. Yeah. Um, but I think if I didn't have all of the knowledge I've accumulated from, like, existing in American pop culture, um, then I think probably no. I'd probably think it was weird. I'd probably be like, where was the buildup? How do you feel about Jacob? I don't, I just don't like Taylor Lautner. Like nothing against him as a person. I, his voice just makes me feel weird. I don't know what it is. He never really aged his voice. It's just a very young sounding voice. Disre okay, try to, disregarding that though, ca the character of Jacob seems fine. I like that. I love a childhood friendship, actually. Yeah. Honestly, I kind of am like, I feel like I'm gonna root for him in the next movie, because that's when there's more conflict with like a love triangle, isn't there? Yeah. I feel like the, the second and third movies. Yeah. I think I'll give it 6.7. Six point seven. Six point seven <laughs> rain drops out of 